Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tectic YouTube channel. We all pretty much know about Silverstone as a brand and for their great products, especially when we talk about chassis, but they aren't so popular with the closed loop water cooling solutions, although they actually have few models, one of that being the newly released Thundra TDO3 Lite. The Tundra series and the TDO3 and TDO2 models are actually on the market for some time, but upon their release back in 2013, we have seen few variations of those models and one of the latest variations is standing in front of us. In order to be more budget-friendly all-in-one water cooling solution, Tundra TDO3 Lite trims down on some of the design features to keep the cost of the production low, but while keeping the main characteristics based on which is the original known for. Right away you can notice those cost reduction measures on account of this plain looking but more than good enough product box. On it you'll find some pointed out key features for this model, socket support ranging from AMD to Intel and covering almost every socket possible, some dimensions for the water cooling pump and radiator and a bit more detailed list of the usual specifications. Opening up the box, here we have a user manual. The included 120mm Silverstone fan. A box with all the necessary parts for the cooler installation and other accessories. And of course, last but not least, the cooler itself. The TDO3 Lite looks pretty much as any other all-in-one water cooling solution as it's based on a pretty common 120mm radiator with 25mm of thickness and averagely dense fins. The rubber tubing looks nice and it's very flexible on both ends and in general, which will make the installation of the cooler a bit easier. All at first it seems a bit shorter than usual, it's more than long enough for it to be put on the chassis back fan mesh. The biggest difference compared to the previous model is in the water pump. Here we have a plastic housing instead of the metal one. Despite of that, this one is also nicely finished and quite good looking, especially compared to its competition. On the top you can see the Silverstone logo, which is surrounded by subtle blue LEDs as you'll see later on. Bottom side reveals a CPU copper contact plate, which is nicely polished and uniform, but it also offers a big surface for wider CPU support. Putting the fans onto the radiator was a matter of few seconds, while with addition of the also bundled second set of 4 screws, you can add another one if you wish to make a push-pull fan configuration for even better performance. The process of installing the cooler on the motherboard was very easy and straightforward, mostly thanks to the Intel's X99 socket which we used for testing together with the Core i7-5960X. This motherboard platform is pretty much all said and done backplate wise, so the only thing you need is just a few screws and you're done. Turning everything on and checking out the performance, idle temperatures were pretty common for a closed loop water cooling solution and close to the ambient temperature, while under Prime95 small FFT load test we were just crossing the 60 degrees Celsius mark on a few cores, while most of them were roaming below that. Bumping up the CPU speed to 4.1 GHz and around 1.2 volts, we are seeing temperatures around 80 to 85 Celsius degrees, which is decent enough considering that this is an 8 core 16 thread monster. The water pump is actually really quiet, while the fan can be quiet also, depending on what PWM settings do you use on your motherboard. In case of our Gigabyte X99 UD4, the CPU fan header was for some reason louder compared to the system fan header, although we put the same settings for both of them. As you can hear on the load, the fan can get a bit louder than we would like, so it's best to either play with the PWEM settings or even replace it with a more quieter fan. 
Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and review of the Silverstone TDO3 Lite closed loop CPU water cooling. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our TechTeek YouTube channel where you can check out our other videos from before.